Morning guys, Dwayne Lulu with Spots and Dots coming to you again. So, my last how-to video showed you how to change the trim switch on the motor itself of 2009 F250 Yamaha. So, today we're going to be changing the trim switch on the binnacle. That is the control at the helm. They call it a binnacle. So, we're going to be changing the trim switch on that. It don't work at all with me anymore. Anyways. We're going to change them out. Uh, if this video helps you out, hit me up with a subscription. If you like fishing videos, I got a lot of fishing videos, guys. So subscribe to Spots and Dots. And I hope this video helps you out, guys. All right, so here's the binnacle. So first thing we're going to do is take the cover off the binnacle itself. The cover, all right? So you got little tabs right here. Get you a small flathead screwdriver. You're going to pop these little tabs off. You'll see a little indention where that goes in. You can see, pop that one off. And you got one down here also. Pop this one off. That gives you access to a couple of screws in there that you need to get out. Alright, so the screws at the top. <clears throat> are facing forward on this binnacle they're star screws all right so you're gonna have to get you a star head little driver and get them out so you're gonna take this <clears throat> one that's at the top most out all right and you got one on your actual throttle control itself or your gear and throttle control <clears throat> so same deal you see the little where you can pry right here and there's the nut right there we got to get out a bolt so as you saw i put that gear in forward just so i can get to that little pry point down here and once i get that plate off i'll put it back in neutral so i'm gonna put it back in neutral there's a 12 millimeter bolt i'm gonna take that off Alright, so we got that off. And you can see there's two screws here. There's a screw here. Now normally, <clears throat> the uh, throttle, the uh, trim switch wires would be wrapped in here and going inside this thing. I've already cut it. I cut them a long time ago, alright? I, I put in a little makeshift trim switch right there. It's made by Raider Marine. I just kind of put that in there for the time being until I was ready to go ahead and do this job. So when i get down underneath there to the wires i'm going to disconnect this and i'm going to keep it here just as a backup but so just so you know when you pull this off there is going to be a wire connected to it so but that's where we are right now so and then you're going to need to take these two off and you have to undo this and now to get you to to the trim switch itself i've just disc i've just cut the wires on it but this the switch is still in there all right so now you got this bolt right here now i've taken this thing off once and this bolt right here was stuck and as i turned it it broke off so i believe it's a hex head also or a star head but it's broke off it's not a major component that keeps this thing from not operating so <clears throat> i didn't worry about replacing it i would have to either drill that screw out or put a very pair of vice grips on there and try to get it out but so you know take this one out Take that one out and you're gonna leave that one in all right so that one don't need to come out take your handle off and when you just pry that thing up it takes a little bit of prying to get it but you pry it up and off of there all right so we got it pried off of there you can see inside see those two uh bulges there they kind of sit in there and that's what keeps it from prying out really easy so you know you just gotta just gotta pry on it a good bit and you'll get it out eventually so this is the part for this binnacle just in case you search it and you don't know exactly what binnacle goes to what trim switch so this is the binnacle and you've already seen the trim switch so all right, so we got all three of the screws taken off the handle itself. Them two screws, this little plate comes off right here. 
You can see a piece of the wire coming off of the trim switch where I cut them. Take that one off. All right, and this has got to be pried on. A, <clears throat> so I'll uh, show you what's going on with this once I get it off. There we go. So anyways, there's a tab in there. Right here. And those are kind of right here on this edge. So when you try to take this thing off, once you undo that screw, just kind of push up on it right there. All right. All right. So like I said on my last video, if you watched it, changing the trim switch on the motor itself, I like to take my extra screws and put them where they go. If they're not going to be in my way, that way... I don't lose them and I know where they go back so I got them two in I'm gonna put this one in and I'll probably put a couple of them in back in the binnacle just a good habit to do like I said keep your bolts from being all over the place and if, as long as they're out of your way then I, I would suggest doing it you keep up with them and you know exactly where they go back this bolt on the handle well, this ain't the right one. I already know this is the wrong one. The, the bolt on the handle's got a Phillips head. So, you got your Phillips head. And you got like a little, I don't even know what they're called. I know it's to keep your, your bolt from coming loose. But, uh, you got to make sure you get that on there. Don't lose that little piece. So, that goes on here. So, I'm going to go ahead and put these back on so I don't lose these two pieces. All right, so we're down to our plastic piece that sits on here. We got it off. Well, it sits like this. So we got it off, and this is the part we're replacing. Now, this little dude, there's a trick to taking this out of here, and it's a booger. So I'm going to take it out, and then I'm going to explain it to you because I can't hold the camera and do it at the same time. So I'm going to get it out, and I'm going to talk you through it. All right, so we got it out. Now, as you can see, when you first look at this, you think this whole piece of plastic comes out, but it does not, all right? This is all one piece, and this actually slides in from this direction, all right? And you got tabs. See these little tabs? You just push in on them and push this thing out this way, all right? So... When this is sitting in there, you'll see these little tabs. And I actually, when I took this thing off the very first time, I didn't know it. So I, I accidentally broke one of them. But anyways, you can see on the new one, tab there and a the tab there. Push it back in. If you run your wire through, push it in. You're going to, you know, you're going to definitely want to listen to it to click. And make sure you got it in there the right way, up and down. All right, so I fed my wire harness through there. There it is. So now I'm going to put it back on here. I'm going to go ahead and take my little screw out. <clears throat> this, this wire is going to feed in here. And you're actually going to wind up wrapping it in here once or twice before you actually run it through the binnacle and down underneath inside the console. That's how it was when I first took it off. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back on here and put the plate back on here once I get the wire run down in there all right so right before I put this thing on I looked at it and double checked it and even I made the mistake I made the mistake of having this on there the wrong way so make sure you got this on there the correct way I had to take it back out and being that this is new as I told y'all before it was it was a booger to get back out it's it's pretty tight in there so anyways make sure it's on there the correct way this is how it sits on there. Up and down. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back on. Alright, so we got that in there. Got my Phillips screw back in there. Sitting in there. Make sure you put your little star holder. That little round piece I showed y'all. Make sure that goes in there underneath this screw right here. All right, and tighten it down. Okay, got that plate back on there. Wire run. Everything's set up right. So, guys, this was the easy part. <laughs> so 
So the hard part is gonna be running your wire back through here. All right, when I took this wire out, those butt ends down there where it connects to the other side, I'm just gonna be honest, there's no way I was gonna pull them through where it had those wires going through here. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can find another route that'll work and get that thing in there and if I do I'll let you know if not we're probably gonna have to pull all this off and maybe some other stuff and you're gonna have to get to this from underneath the console so first I'm gonna see if I can find a different route take a look at this thing and we'll go from there alright so after looking at it I do not see the easy route, so I'm going to show you what we're looking at from underneath. Looks like we're going to have to pull this off, guys, so let me show you what we're looking at underneath here, though. Alright, so here's underneath it. This is the bottom of it. This is the back facing the rear of the boat. This up here is facing the front of the boat. See that hole right there? That's where those wires came through when I pulled them so I'm gonna have to get this out and find my way to feed my wires and go through here it's gonna have to go through this whole box there's no other way so, what we're gonna have to do guys so get that off and take these four bolts one two three four bolts screws I guess you call them screws so I'm gonna take those off go from there okay so we got this thing out I'm gonna set it down on its side on this side there's three screws one two three and it seems like just about every screw on this thing is really in there so I don't know if y'all be the same but mine was very hard to get break these things free because someone put Loctite on them so hopefully y'all don't have Loctite on y'all's and Anyways, this is where we're at, and you can see this is where that wire is going to need to run. You see the old uh, uh, zip tie right here that that wire ran through, so that wire is going to need to run through here, and let's see, I think it's going to be on the opposite side of the controller is where it can go down. You see that hole is a lot bigger to run them through, so we're going to run them through on that side and then work them way, way in there. All right, so I got them worked through there. Took a little bit to get it done. I even used this little flat head that I have. I got it in there and helped pry them through. <coughs> That's where I pulled, I pulled them through, right through there. So once you get them through there, you're going to run them through this groove and onto the opposite side here so I'm gonna flip this over in just a second and get it all run through there all right so got my wire run come in between these pieces right here see these two little posts sticking up come in between them run it down I ran it underneath these two wires right here a little bit between this little slot that's right here and I come down, I cut the old zip tie that was off, and actually you can just lift this up, put your wire in there, just lay it in there and put you know put that back on. Alright, so I'm gonna trim my uh, zip tie off and put my plastic cover back on it. Alright, so got my plastic plate back on. One thing that would have made this just a tiny 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 bit easier is to take this top plate off. Alright, but these screws down here again, this binnacle I guess is old so these screws just didn't want to budge so I didn't want to break them since I could get the job done without taking this off I, I didn't take it off so if you want to you can take it off or you don't have to so you run the wire down there and put this back in the hole all right so we got them four bolts back in there I actually replaced two of them I said one of them I had to get out with the uh 
little tool that you use to extract stuck screws and stuff. I had to get one out with that, and when I went to get the other one out, it just broke it. So I got that broken one out with a pair of vice grips. Put two new ones in there, so that's in there. If you remember me telling you earlier about that wire going to have to be wrapped. So the reason why is it needs to, it needs to come around and come to the top because that's where this is it comes out at the top of this dude right here so you're going to wrap it in there a little bit and let it come to the top that way when you go into forward and reverse it's it's, it's not going to affect that wire so it needs to be wrapped in there one you know so you can see it i got it wrapped it comes to the back it comes to the back and then it comes this way so don't pull it all the way taunt. Give it a little slack so you can have a little play in there when you go from forward to reverse and stuff. All right, guys. So I'm going to put this back on there. Right, so I'll put this back on. And you can actually put this plate back on first if you want. That way you know you're in your neutral position. Remember, before we took this off, we put this in the neutral position. So make sure you know that's where it's at and when you put it back on you know your boat you know where your neutral position's at so when you put it back on that's where it's at it feels right to you so this is my neutral position so like i said you can put this cover back on first and then slide this on and put your bolt back in all right so you put your bolt back in there and don't forget your washer your washer and your bolt and get it back in there and tighten it down all right, so we got this bolt tightened down. I put that bolt back in there. Now this big one, like I told y'all, it does not need to come out, and you don't need to move it. That thing right there dictates how tight your lever is, actually. So if you accidentally move that thing, you could loosen or tighten how much pressure is on your uh, throttle here. So. Try not to even mess with that thing if you can. And if you remember, I told you this one down here was broke on me already. So I have not worried about replacing it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my caps back on. <clears throat> We're going to be done on the top side. And we'll just, all we got to do is unplug this one that I have hooked up and plug the new one in. All right. So once you find where your wires come out underneath and in inside the center console, now just take and plug them in. Blue goes to blue, green goes to green, red goes to red. So plug them in and you're all done. Well, basically, I say you're all done. Uh, you're going to have a good bit of wire here. So take it, zip tie it back up in there somewhere, get it out the way. All right, guys. So now I got a working trim button on the helm here on my binnacle. Up. Oh. Motor's coming up. Down. Motor's going down. So there we go, guys. All right, so I helped this hope someone out. Uh, I personally never found any videos with this particular motor, the uh, 2009 F250 Yamaha. So that's why I went ahead and made this video. So like I said, hope it helps someone out. If you liked it, give me some thumbs up. Give me some shares. Tell somebody about it. And if you like some fishing videos, don't forget to go to Spots and Dots and subscribe, guys. So for now, Spots and Dots is out.